change city ordinances so her swim program would be allowed to continue operating from her backyard pool. I was feeling like everything was going to shut down. Miss Rita has been teaching her unique brand of aggressive swim lessons for more than 30 years. Generations of West Michigan children learning how to be safe around water. But as the program grew, complaints from neighbors started to trickle in, prompting the city to send her this letter last week saying the lessons would have to stop. I think things just kind of got blown out of proportion and we were all sad. I was sad, the neighbors were sad. But a petition of support for Miss Rita got a big response, garnering 16,000 signatures in just a week. And the swell of support got the attention of Granville City Council member Justin Nordhook. We had received quite a few communications from residents and non-residents who were very supportive of Miss Rita. We'd also received some communications from neighbors who were expressing concern over the level of nuisance that they were experiencing in the neighborhood. He felt there had to be a way to balance the interests of Miss Rita and her neighbors. So I made a motion to have the Planning Commission alter our ordinance. That commission will look at altering an ordinance that says home businesses must be based inside the home. I believe very strongly that local government should be the most responsive to residents and so the fact that there was such a large uh, public display of support for her and outreach by residents as well as by the neighbors who had concerns. Uh, as city council members, we should be and are very available to those concerns. While also addressing ways to alleviate some of the concerns of neighbors. I'm cutting down the length of the class from 45 minutes to a half hour. I'm cutting almost in half the amount of kids that are in each class. On the road to a resolution that Rita feels like both she and her neighbors can be happy with. They're looking at the big picture. They're looking at what this is accomplishing for the community and the surrounding communities. For more information about the situation or to find out what the next steps are, check out our web article at fox17online.com. For now, though, in Granville, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.